What's up YouTube? Another video here. Uh, for starters, I've just graduated from marksman to sharpshooter. So take that for what this is. Uh, I'm by no means a master or a GM or anything like that. I'm just going to share my experiences with the guns that I have been shooting over the past year. Uh, let's start with uh, kind of the history I've been doing. I've been shooting, uh, I was shooting uh, CZs prior to this year. Um, about mid-year, let's say two or three months before the local state match, uh, I switched to the Glock 34 Gen 4. Uh, I did this primarily because the double action, single action trigger on the CZs that I was shooting uh, gave me inconsistent results. Uh, I'm not very good at that transition apparently. Uh, I switched to a Glock just to try it out. I was going to shoot it for a couple weeks. I was going to also explore the MMP series. And what ended up happening is uh, I found the Glocks. I shot them. I shot them really well and I didn't try anything else. Uh, the grip angle, I was always convinced I would hate the grip angle. Uh, but you don't argue with results when you drop, you know, 20 seconds off your time at the local weekly match. You, you, you pay attention to that. So I switched to Glocks. This is the Glock 34 I actually shot at State. Um, and I got my match bump uh, with this gun. I'm very, very proud of that. Um, it's my SSP gun. There are no visible external modifications besides, of course, the sights, which are legal. The trigger I've gotten down to about three and a half pounds. Uh, brakes right there, and the safety does in fact pop out on its own. So this is my Glock 34. This is my go-to. This would have been shooting the most in IDPA. I do need the beaver tail on here. It keeps this fat part of my hand. I don't know why. I guess whatever. It's not even that bad over here, anyways. So I do use the beaver tails on it. I find them to be an advantage. I was getting a little Glock kiss when I would come down on the come down on the gun a little high when I would uh, be pulling it from the holster, and I'd get a little kiss on my hand uh, with the beaver tail that's gone away. I, I know when I hit too high, and uh, so it's been good. Uh, great firearm, great for IDPA, great for SSP. Hey guys, one last thing I wanted to mention with the Glock 34 is the holster that I've been shooting with it. Uh, I've been using the CompTAC. Um, Paddle holster. I don't like the paddle holster, but I was offered a deal on it. Can't argue with that. It's been fine. I just need to make sure it stays slid back. Otherwise, it's a great uh, competition holster. Um, covers what needs to be covered. Doesn't cover what anything else. Has pretty good retention, uh, but lets go at the same time. Hasn't actually scratched up my gun either. That's a nice feature to it. Um, but I do have the more robust. Uh, Glock finish from the early Gen 4s that's more that frying pan finish rather than the uh, weaker, newer uh, finish. So this has been my setup um, for IDPA and it's what I got my bump from uh, Marksman to Sharpshooter with. So Glock 34, IDPA, great gun. So All please right. go ahead and uh, like the channel or subscribe to the channel, like this video. Uh, if you'd like any more questions on this, I think this has been covered basically. I mean, everybody has a Glock 34, but if you'd like to ask me some more questions, these are Zev sights, by the way. Zev sights, I think they're great. They give me a nice back notch here, which I prefer. Uh, Comtac holster, Zev connector, Zev springs. Uh, great all around. So uh, subscribe to the channel. Ask me a question if you want more detail on this. Thanks a lot.